Now what you see here is an illustration of how to combine concept mapping and business models using the business model canvas. This is actually the famous and somewhat wrong business model for Gillette, you know, the company selling razors and razor blades, who invented the, the lock-in. Let's have a look. If you start at the right, the customer segments, well, you have customers who buy one purchase of a handle, but many replacements of blades. Now, because the layout of the blades is proprietary, you have a lock-in situation. You sell through retail as your channels. Your value propositions are handles and blades. And the blades need to be specific. That's why you can lock the customer in. Now for doing all of that, you need some key activities, which are the usual marketing, logistics, research and development and so on. Research and development is intense because you need to generate a lot of patents to protect your login scheme. Branding, of course, is also of importance. Your key partners on the left side, manufacturers and retailers, nothing strange there. If you go down to the bottom, you have revenue streams from sales of handles once per customer and sales of blades many times per customer. And you have the cost structure consisting of marketing costs, manufacturing costs, legal costs, a lot of those, research and development costs, and logistics costs. This is a very clear picture of what the Gillette business model, as it is being told, is all about.